Scene and scenario creation is an integral part of automated driving algorithm testing, especially when it comes to edge cases and scene variations. MathWorks has tools and toolboxes that can help in virtual scene and scenario authoring for simulation testing. These vary in fidelity, ranging from the low-fidelity cuboid world to high-fidelity 3D simulation using Unreal Engine and Roadrunner. This video will cover the workflow shown here, starting with creating a scene in Roadrunner and ending with visualizing the scene in Unreal Engine, with ego vehicle and sensors added in Simulink. Before we begin, make sure you have Roadrunner 22B, MATLAB 22B, and Unreal Engine 4.26 downloaded from the Epic Games Launcher, installed. All links used in this video are in the description. I'm creating a simple Roadrunner scene here. One curved road with two lanes, a building, a tree, a stencil, and a road sign. Now that we've created the scene, export into the Unreal format. This contains film box, open drive, and XML files. Save your exports and the Roadrunner scene. We need to install some plugins and support packages for Unreal Engine that will help with Roadrunner and Simulink connectivity. Open MATLAB 22B, go into add-ons and download the following three support packages. Run the lines of code shown in this doc here to copy over plugins included in the support package to the Unreal Engine folder on your computer. Here is the script copied over to MATLAB. Make sure after you run, you get the successfully copied messages for both the plugins. Let's create a new project in Unreal Engine. The category is Games. It's a blank template. And we want a C++ project. Now for the Roadrunner plugins. Download the zip file from this link. Navigate to these folders, then copy over the three highlighted folders. Paste these inside the plugins folder of wherever you downloaded Unreal Engine in your computer. Check that you have the MathWorks Simulation plugin and the MathWorks UAV Content plugin inside the Marketplace folder. Open Unreal Engine from the command line using this command. It's important to launch this way or using Simulink every time to establish Unreal connectivity. Rebuild Unreal Engine if prompted. Then go to Edit Plugins and confirm if the following plugins are enabled. Next, let's import our Roadrunner file. Choose the Film Box file then choose the path. Make sure these options are enabled. And import the file. You can see the scene we created in Roadrunner in Unreal. There's the sign, the stencil, the building, and the tree. Click on Build All Levels and Build Lighting only. Now let's import our Roadrunner Open Drive file into the Driving Scenario Designer app and create waypoints. I'm importing the ASAM Open Drive file. Now I'm adding the ego vehicle, changing the yaw, and adding a few waypoints. Save your scenario. Here is a Simulink model that will load in the DSD file, add ego vehicle, and a fisheye camera to our scenario. The scenario reader block takes in the DSD file we just created. The 3D ground following block takes in the DST input and places an ego vehicle in the Unreal scene. Make sure to specify the same starting position for this block as the DST scenario. The simulation 3D scene configuration block is used to connect to Unreal Engine. 
Another way to open Unreal is through Simulink. Change the source to Unreal Editor, specify project path, DSD path, and click Open Unreal Editor. Reparent Blueprints in Unreal by clicking Blueprints, Open Level Blueprints, File, Reparent Blueprint. Choose the Sim 3D Level Actor. Save the file and run the simulation. Once initializing pops up in the Simulink window, play the scene in Unreal. You can see the car follow the waypoints we defined in DSD. You can add actors in Unreal and control them using Simulink. You can also create a scenario in Roadrunner Scenario, use Simulink to add sensors and visualize in Unreal. We also have pre-built scenes that you can use with both Roadrunner and Unreal Engine. Please refer to the description to learn more and happy simulating.